awaits! Stock's men will surely take him. Do you ever get used to it? 
killing. Faster than you can imagine. You know, those vigors seem very powerful. I'll do what I can to keep you stocked in salts. Thanks. bothered you. You showed me. Sometimes you have to do what's necessary to survive. There's survival, and then there's finding pleasure in the act. Booker. Look, you seem like a decent enough sort. That said, the less you know about me, the better. Thank <laughs> you. 
Any last words? Don't make me hurt you. Close it! Booker. I'll be certain to attend to that distinction. Booker, when there's a moment when we're not being shot at. If you're interested, I spotted some supplies over there. is a life compared to a faith. My aim is true, and my eye is the prophet's. Open the ones I, I remember making them. Making them? I could go wherever I wanted. I always wanted to come back. To what? Family? Huh. Here's how do cash. you do that? Whatever it is. You know how I said I had plenty of time to read? Well, I tried to figure it out. I read literature on physics and other such things. Yeah. And what did that teach you? There's a world of difference between what we see and what it is.
Do it. You bet. and there's not you can do to stop me. Oh, sweet child. That's where he is. Fitzroy. I won't steal up on you while you slumber like these Vox boys here with their pig stickers. That's one skeleton to me. That's two. Now when you hear this, 
I want you to square your affairs and come die in the side of the poets. You'll need a white man's weapon. Give this try. The Lord judges I and Open it! On it! This one open? Looks easy enough. Done. When you were unconscious on the beach, you kept repeating a woman's name. I don't want to talk about that. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have pried. Where are you from, Mr. DeWitt? New York. What did you do there? Business much like this. Something that really caters writing on a resume. It was a fine thing you came along when you did. How do you think I ended up here? I gambled, and now I owe money to men you don't want to be in debt to. I come here to pay it back. Me busting you out. What do you think that was? Charity? Who sent you? Somebody who was willing to take my marker in exchange for you.
behind. So, looks like they call you the false shepherd. And you the lamb. Let's not call each other that. Suits me. How do you figure they'd know you'd be coming? Either they've got a prophet on their side. Har har. Or them that hired me also wrote the signs. Why? Got me. That's not Paris, that's New York. How did you know that? One thing I had in that tower was time, Mr. DeWitt. Time to study things like geography. I owed money. And there's a fellow who... He offered to wipe away my debt in exchange for you. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Everything's gonna be okay. Will you just turn around and talk to me and we can... <laughs> Shepherd, we've been hearing so much about. Caused a mess of trouble at the raffle. You Fitzroy? Nothing but. 
I got no quarrel with you or your Vox Populi. This is my airship you're hanging me out of, and I got perilous need of it. Really? Because it sure look like old Comstock's airship to Listen, me. I ain't looking for a fight. There's already a fight to win. Only question is, which side you on? Comstock is the god of the white man, the rich man, the pitiless man. But if you believe in common folk, then join the Vox. If you believe in the righteous folk, then join the Vox. I just want my ship. And the Vox shall give her to you. But first, you must help the Vox. Down in Finkton, there's a gunsmith who can supply weapons to our cause. Get our guns from him, and you shall have your ship back. <laughs> The most common complaint I hear from the working man is that they are unhappy with their lot. Oh, why torment yourself, I ask? The ox cannot become a lion, and why would you want to? Who wants all those responsibilities and worry? You do your job. Flying squad. <laughs> Oh, no! 
people are saying. And, uh, well, why is it, Mr. Fink, that we have to work 16 hours a day? No, let's be clear. I would like nothing more than to shorten the work day. Charged with spiritual wrongdoings. Some of citizens overpowered them and took the prisoner. You want to know what we do to pretty little stowaways? Or maybe you don't. Hey! Just stop for a minute!
away from me! Stay away! I just want to talk to you! Elizabeth! Get away from me! Just hold up for a minute! Stay away! I'm not angry with you! Hey, watch out! Move it! Move! Just stay back! God damn it! I am not going with you! Don't go in there! I have no need of one such as you! No, no, no! Move it! Move it! No! Let me go! You got her! There's gotta be another way in.
to get our airship back. You can get us out of here. Yes. I just need to supply enough weapons to arm an entire uprising. And where will we get these weapons? From one of our many friends and allies? A gunsmith in Finkton. Should be a walk in the park. What do you say? Partners? <sighs> you're a liar, Mr. DeWitt. And a thug. But you're also my only means of reaching Paris. <laughs> Comfortable with my company, Mr. DeWitt. You are a means to an end. Lately, I've been hearing a whole mess of funny new ideas. Paid vacation, eight-hour days, workers' compensation. <laughs> Those are anarchist words, my friends. And they Help me out with this lock. Look at the world. The friend of hunger, the comrade of want, and the partner of disease. Ready. Uh, uh, Mr. Fink's a good man. You work hard, and I know he'll reward you. Thank you. 
truth is, I don't have a lot of time for all that prophecy nonsense. I tell you, belief is, is just a commodity. And old Comstock, well, he does produce. But like any tradesman, he's obliged to barter his product for the earthly ores. You see, one does not raise a barn on song alone. <laughs> no, sir. Uh, that's fink timber, a fink hammer, and fink's hand to swing it. <laughs> he needs me, lest he soil his own. this
you take a look at this lock? It's easy enough. The gunsmith Chen Lin wanted for known connections to the outlaw Daisy. Fancy putting those lock picking okay. stuff like our guys drawn at ten trees. It's not great, is it? No. Mother's diary. Why would Slate have it? My husband claims the child was created from whole cloth by divine will. I am a believer, but I am not a fool. His bastard shall not be raised under this roof. My mother. She had me locked in my tower. Elizabeth. I just want to get out of this city. Please. in my hand, the private journal of Comstock's wife. It puts the lie to this miracle child nonsense. She loved the child not. It seems the sainted lady would have preferred to let the seed of the prophet just dry out on the bedsheets. Jeremiah Fick, and I want to share with you my personal creed. What is the most admirable creature on God's green earth? Why, it's the bee! Have you ever seen a bee on vacation? Have you ever seen a bee take a sick day? Well, my friends, the answer is no. So I say, be the bee! Be the bee! Mr. DeWitt? Uh, yes. Hold for Mr. Fink, please. What's going on? DeWitt, Fink here. Listen, my boy, we've had our eye on you, and I can tell you right now that you are our top candidate. Top! <laughs> now, uh, my associate, Mr. Flambeau, will help you with anything you need. <laughs> what the hell was that? I have no idea. He seems oddly pleased to make your acquaintance. Got an ego. find a variety of supplies here that should see you through your visit. What does Mr. Fink want with us? Excuse me, miss, but Mr. Fink's interest is strictly in the gentleman. But why... So sorry, young miss, but any questions regarding the gentleman's application should be taken up with Mr. Fink directly. Does this strike you as good news? Doesn't strike me as good news. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes now, bid fourteen. Will you give me fourteen? What do you think? Head to the gunsmith or scavenge supplies by the clock shop? Now, 
Jeremiah Fink has a philosophy. You see, your company is like Noah's Ark. You Right up your alley. Seems easy enough. Done. That poster. There's another cipher on it. Huh. So we need to find the code book? Yes. Hmm. Looks like everything's. <laughs> where we'll find it. Do you know what Daisy Fitzroy and her anarchist cronies want for you? <laughs> uh, strike, they say. Uh, throw down your tools, they say. Why, I tell you, the moment you do We'll see what those hyenas are made of. I ask you, where are they going to be when it's cold outside and your boys got the mumps and you've got nothing on your table but regret? D don't you see what the box popular is selling? They're selling dreams. And dreams, my friend, uh, they don't come cheap. that song before. I don't suspect anyone's heard that song. Open it. All right. The need to speak to this so-called false shepherd stirring up so much trouble. We got enough problems without this damn fool shooting up the city and blaming it all on the Vox. Though if he's amiable, yeah, yeah, he might be just the fellow we need for our immediate concerns. Booker, grab that lock. Help me! 
When's showtime? Come back at showtime! Guess we should come back later. That'll do. One day, ain't nobody noticed me. Then they think I done for Lady Comstock. Well, everybody noticed me. I head to Finkton, and I hide. I hide deep. The more they look, the deeper I go. Only thing a color child can count on is the fact they invisible. founder of Buddhism, spent 49 days under a Bodhi tree until he achieved enlightenment. Something tells me Comstock doesn't cater to idols getting worshipped that ain't him. Hello? Hello? Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Is anybody here? What happened here? Someone worked this place over. Local constabulary, no doubt. downstairs. Excuse me. Ma'am, I'm sorry to bother you. I... We're looking for Mr. Lin. Mr. Chen Lin. Not here. He... gone. Gone? They take... flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha. Pray, give husband back. Give back to Meilin. Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to good time club. Where is this club? 
Ma'am, please, where, where is this club? Hooker will find it. Just leave her be. Why not Vox Bully help Chen Lin? Why not Daisy Fitzroy help Chen Lin? <laughs> Cops. The kind who probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're working for? As a matter of fact, it is. Let's figure out where this good time club is. Timing. Inside and find Mr. Lin. And just. Chen Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. He's something of an old hand at handling explosives. Find Shen Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money's on you. He's something of an old explosives. Only man I know who hasn't <laughs> lost a limb working with them. <laughs> Yet. 
interested in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fink's security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want. There's a door over here. I think that's the way down. Uh, 
I had thought you a fool, dear brother, when you told me that you heard wonderful music trumpeting from holes in the thin air, I began to doubt your mental integrity. But not only have you made your fortune from these doodads, you have lit the path for me as well. Cell number nine. Elizabeth? Looks easy enough. I used to work for folks like Fink. Really? I know, it's like the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. Done. No point hiding! That's it. That's the book for the clock shop. Fitzroy, you goddamn gook. We know you can hear us. You want to say something? Or you want us to bring in Mrs. Lynn for company? Uh, throw a bucket of ice water on him. We got three more to bring in tonight. Oh, what's that smell? Ain't no privies down here. They treat them like animals. To tax the black more than the white. Is that not cruel? To forbid the mixing of the races, is that not cruel? To give the vote to the white man and deny it to the yellow, the black, the red, is that not cruel? But is it not cruel to banish your children from a perfect garden? Or drown your flock under an ocean of water? Cruelty! What people have done to deserve to be locked up in a place like this? Fink don't need much of a reason. No. No, he doesn't. That's Slate. He looks... You were right. Sparing him was no mercy. Fancy putting those lock picking skills to work? I'll give it over. This is it. Yeah. Yep. Number nine. Got it. Could you take a look at this lock? No problem. Do it? You're a lion. But you can't Ready. blame me for looking after my own interests, can you? Now I know Fitzroy has come. He meant. 
Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. What? How the hell did... I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want? What do you see here, from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Chen Lin. This is becoming rather awkward. The body's gone. It was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through to this other Columbia, but It's like riding a bicycle. One never really forgets. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. If we go into the stair, I don't think I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? Okay, open it. Look. There's no blood. And no body. It's another world, Booker. Another Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. Much obliged. Chen Lin is alive now. We're in a world where he was never murdered. Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that. And have everything else remain the same. These men... I killed them. They were dead. Not in this world. Look at their noses. They're... They're all bleeding. Fuck! 
killing for this! You can't hide! Be careful, Black Cannon! tools. The most common complaint I hear from the working man is that they are unhappy with their lot. Why torment yourself, I ask? The ox cannot become a lion, and why would you want to? Alright, give me a second. The broken clock tolls at midnight. Which clock? This looks like the one. Set it to midnight. Allow be. I came to Colombia because I believed in God. And because I believed in honor. But Slade has shown me this. There is no God in shutting our brothers out from the family of man, and there is no honor in defending those who are strangers to its meaning. Perhaps in Finkton there is one more deserving of my service. <laughs> <laughs> 